Maybe they should do the intro <laughs> and then we come in. You know, they're like, hey guys, J Jules and he. But you're not Jules and he. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> yeah. um, I thought it was good. What's up? Hen and Jules here. We're here in the Blue Mountains and we're going to be talking about stereo microphones and when you would want to be using them in your films. To an audio newcomer it might seem like a stereo microphone would be twice as nice because there's two channels rather than one, right? Well it's not quite that simple. Mono and stereo microphones were designed for very specific reasons and the reason you would want to pick either over the other would depend a lot on your environment and what you're trying to record. So essentially what we're trying to do is find the right tool for the job. Yeah, exactly. So what is the difference between mono and stereo microphones? So unless otherwise stated, a microphone will pretty much always be mono. And this means that it holds one single capsule and records to one single audio channel. Yeah, that's right. And usually these microphones are really good at capturing sound sources in one specific direction in front of the camera or the microphone. So they're really good at rejecting sounds from the sides and the rear in most cases. So this is why in a film setting you'll see them used to record sound effects, dialogue and foley. And of course there are some exceptions to the rule, but for the most part they will pick up the cleanest signal possible while rejecting a lot of the sound from the surrounding environment. Some mono microphones can pick up sound at an even greater distance. Again, because their pickup pattern can be more focused, just like in shotgun microphones. On the other hand, some mono mics use proximity, like the Rode Labs we're using today. Yeah, and the reason we're using these is because they reject a lot of the sound that's further away from the microphone, and they only focus on the things that are closer to the microphone, like our faces and our diaphragms. So if mono mics are great for recording a single sound source, why would you ever use a stereo mic? That's a really good question. Let's go find something to record in stereo. I think there's a waterfall around here. Let's go! Stereo microphones use two capsules to record two separate channels of audio. Yeah, so these two capsules will pick up differences in time and frequency. When you pan those channels left and right, you'll get a really nice sense of width and depth to your recordings. Okay, so it's kind of like unlocking a completely new dimension for your recordings. Yeah, yeah, that's right. These capsules are typically in a fixed arrangement, pointed to the left and the right, and the result is extremely natural. Yeah, and the reason it sounds so natural to humans is because we already have an inbuilt pair of microphones in our heads. Yeah. It is. So stereo mics are best used when you're trying to record a sound source and how it interacts with the whole environment, or even just the environment itself. That's why stereo mics are best suited for recording Atmos for film. Yeah. So speaking of Atmos, we've got a really cool waterfall around the corner. So we're going to set up a couple of mics and show the difference between mono and stereo recordings. <laughs> So we found a sweet little spot here with the running stream and we're going to set up for a couple of tests. Yeah, now there are plenty of stereo video mics in the video mic range, but today we're going to be using the Stereo Video Mic X, which is a really high quality on-camera stereo microphone. Now we're using that on a GH5S along with the Video Mic Pro Plus, which is also on a GH5S. So let's go and have a listen. So just make sure when you're listening to this test that you're hearing them on a pair of headphones or a pair of stereo speakers. Because if you're listening with a smartphone or a tiny little laptop speaker, you won't really hear any difference whatsoever. So hopefully this video has given you a good idea of when you can use your stereo mic. And if you wanted to get started with stereo recording, you could instead use the iXYL, which has a lightning connector for your iPhone. And what you can do is whip that out whenever you're on set and you need to do some stereo recordings really quickly and easily. 
thanks for watching guys. Like and subscribe, comment in the comment section below. There'll be a blog post, click on the link, and we'll see you next time. Peace.